Well, today we're going to have a look at one of the new B&M sets, and this is from um, one of my sort of, I wouldn't say favourites, but a very good uh, first Doctor story. Uh, the first couple of episodes are really excellent and quite scary, um, and then after that it goes downhill a bit. Uh, I did a podcast about these, which I'll put the link in in the description below, and it goes into more detail on the story, but... Uh, yeah, B&M has released four new sets. There's this one. There's a Vord set with Ian Chesterton and two Vords, which they didn't have out. And the, uh, I like, <laughs> you see the reflection of the guy's face. Look. Looks like a worm coming to attack him. Um, they didn't have out, and uh, when my wife went to look this today for these, they weren't very helpful um, in trying to find them. Basically, their attitude was, if it's not on the shelf, go away. Um, and then there's two Dalek sets, which I'm not going to bother with the Dalek sets because I've got just too many Daleks as it is. I've got shelffuls of the things. This Daleks, you see up there, tons of them. So, and they're not different enough. And I'm not collecting it as a set, the uh, history of the Daleks, but I'm a sucker for William Hartnell, my favourite Doctor. So I had to get this one, and I'll certainly pick up the Ian Chesterton one if I see it even though it's vaguely inaccurate. Um, so box-wise, we get standard three-pack, which I do like. I like the way these are packaged now. Um, it says it's limited edition. I'm not entirely sure how true that is, because the last set of limited edition ones they did um, ended up being like reduced to three quid, and they couldn't sell them. And there's hundreds of things about. So it's a sensor right. It's 1964. Includes... The first Doctor, Sensorite, and Sensorite Elder. The uh, bodies are obviously sort of stock bodies from something. I mean, the feet are new and the head sculpt's new, but the Sensorites, sort of, to a creature, were short, fat, dumpy, middle aged men. Um, these look a bit uh, thin and svelte. Um, and then there's the normal Sensorite. Uh, he's got the three armbands and he's got the double sash because that was how they told each other apart because they were incredibly silly species really and then you get a reissue of the Hartnell one which I I have got and I repainted I'll see if I get them out and we'll compare them um, but let's uh, get this open and have a look I do love the vacuum that's great it's got a real sense of depth to it if you look into the spaceship that's a nice spot a lot of effort gone into that. Um, figure wise, so let's have a look. So you get the, uh, what is he, the Statesman Sense Right? What do they call him? Sense Right and Sense Right Elder. So this is Sense Right. I'm sure he had a rank because he's got the stripes on. So, like you say, it's quite a generic body. Probably have something else. New feet. I like them. Some very heavy weathering on the feet, but finally we've got a figure that should stand up okay. <laughs> Comes with his own stand. Face wise, lovely sculpt. Could probably do with painting, bringing out the detail. Paint apps, not bad. Um, again, really good attention to detail. It's got the forward facing ears, uh, standard joints. Hands are gloved, which is good. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I quite like these. I think they're, they've been well done. The other sense, right? So it's the, exactly the same face sculpt. Yeah, exactly the same. Um, same paint app. It looks like the same head. So the body is exactly the same. The only difference is this one's got a set of cross straps, which they must have put on before putting the arms in, because otherwise you're not going to get them off. Um, other than that, exactly the same. But nice. I like the. I quite like this idea. If you get sort of two army builders, the wood ones the same, and then Hartnell, always a nice Hartnell sculpt. Um, in his the same body as the original. I got the. This was the one I think out of the. Uh, um, 
pack with like 13 doctors in so I repainted the face um, but this one comes with sort of brown trousers with some dodgy paint apps there facial feature wise I think it's exactly the same sculpt yep just very yellow looking as all of these face sculpts are so yeah exactly the same figure just different paint job which is good you don't get his cane which I suppose isn't a great worry I didn't use it in this particular story it's always nice to have another Hartnell so yeah I uh, I think this is a set well worth getting um, it's nice to see some unusual stuff I can't see many kids buying this to have action adventures with an old man and two middle-aged old aliens um, but for Doctor Who fans it's great and that backdrop is lovely so yeah I would grab them if you see them I don't know whether they'll end up uh, being rare or whatever but I'm not buying these for the resale value I'm buying them when they're nice figures um, hopefully I'll get the Ian Cheston one we'll do a little review on that but uh, thanks for watching if you want to see more Doctor Who stuff let me know I've got just masses and masses of junky Doctor Who stuff yeah, some of it's good um, just got some the second set of Weetabix cards as well so I want to do a review on that um, but uh, thanks for watching I'll see you again next time thanks then bye <laughs>